going to read Katie Fry, Private Eye, The Lost Kitten. All right, chapter one. This is Katie, right down there. Katie is little, but has a big brain. We love big brains. Katie loves to solve mysteries. She loves, she solved the mystery of the lost glasses. She solved the mystery of the missing cookies. Mm -hmm. She's a mystery solver. She even solved the mystery of the early bedtime when she figured out her parents normally put her to bed at 7, but now they're going to put her to bed at 6.30, date night. So she's really smart. Katie is looking for another mystery to solve. Let's solve your mysteries. I saw a kitten alone in the park, says Mailman Bob. Katie knows what to do. So here's Miss Katie, and there's Mailman Bob. This is Sherlock, little kitty. Welcome to the park, perfect for adventures. Sherlock likes to explore. There we go. Do you need some help? Katie asked Sherlock. Sherlock always uh, looked around, looked this way and that way, and he looked up and he looked down. I'm just a little lost, he says. So, here he is, a little lost. It's a mystery, said uh, Katie. It's the lost kitten mystery. I'll take the case. What case? Sherlock asked. Trust me, says Katie. I know what to do. So, there she is, trying to figure out. Chapter 3. She writes down clues. Somehow, the kitten has trim nails. Next clue. His coat is brushed and cared for. The fur around his neck is pushed down. So, we can see all these clues. Right. We know, you put those all together, someone's been taking care of you, says Katie. Looks like you once had a home and a collar. All right, if only we could find it, says Sherlock. That gives Katie an idea. There's Katie and Mr. Sherlock. We need to find anyone who saw you wearing that collar, says Katie. Sherlock asks, like witnesses? I like the way you think, said Katie. So she made a little kite. Do you know this cat? Chapter four. Soon it's time for lunch. Katie asks Sherlock if he's hungry. We have tuna fish, she says. You had me at lunch, says Sherlock. So off they go to the house to eat lunch. As they eat, Katie asked Sherlock to tell her everything he noticed that morning. Blue sky, hard stones, yellow feathers, and tall trees, says Sherlock. Katie heard a peck in the window. Those are the yellow feathers, says Sherlock. It was a bird. All right. I saw the kitten lose his collar, said the bird on the window seal, tells them. Where, says Katie. Look for the pile of stones, said the bird. All right. So Sherlock looked confused, but the bird has no more time for questions and flew away. So we have a couple of clues of who he is. A pile of stones? Katie has that look on her face. The one that means her big brain is hard at work. Sherlock follows her back to the park. He doesn't know why. We solved the mystery, Katie says, and now we know where you live. But Katie doesn't want to say goodbye. She found the collar. Yay! Maybe I could get lost in the park again, Sherlock suggests. I have a better idea, 
Katie says. Let's see what her idea is. Let Katie solve your mysteries. And Sherlock. So now, they're partners. Yay, and that is the end. Thank you. Talk to you guys next time. Read a book.